I uh, played uh, uh, Victor Rivera, which is the uh, the lead candidate until the you know uh, <laughs> the political <laughs> strategies changed the whole thing. But uh, yes, I play the uh, Victor Rivera, the candidate. How, how did it feel for you, being an actor, to play a president of an important country in the world? Might be different, right? No, it is a beautiful experience. It's, 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 it's wonderful, and especially when you go to a country like Bolivia, it's a beautiful country, the people are so nice. Uh, they're beautiful people. But then when you stand in a, in, in, a, in a place in front of these thousands of people, and then you see their faces and, uh, and their hopes and, and the things that they come to hear your candidate to, you know, they, they want something. They want to get out of their situation, they're poor, they want to get better education and jobs and everything. Like everybody does. In like we all do. That we all do. But then you go and listen to the nice, beautiful words and all whatever is the strategies, and then things happen. It, it, is, it, is, uh, it is very interesting. For, for me as an actor to play a candidate, I, I felt the power, I mean, that you as a candidate you have. And if you are a, truth, a truthly uh, candidate, it will be nice to do some work for these people. If you can promise what you, you know, if you deliver what you promise. It will be nice if politicians deliver what they promise, yes, right? That, but that will be great. That is it's, it's beautiful. The tragedy is this: like sometimes they come and they talk and they promise beautiful plans and everything, but then at the end they don't deliver, and then that frustrates people, and that's why people probably don't vote anymore, because they says, ah, it's whoever we vote doesn't matter because it's going to be always the same, they're always going to be electing the same people, so, but hey, you're just probably going to be a little more uh, conscious about voting next time in any election, it can be in Europe or in South America or in America, but then you're going to think about, hey, let me see. I remember I saw that movie and whatever they were saying about this candidate, I don't think it was true. Let's, let's try. So probably they will make a little bit more of a, you know. Eh, ¿Le puedo preguntar una pregunta en español? Oh, sí, en español, claro. ¿Qué es lo que más le interesó de este proyecto y de dónde viene usted? Ya, yeah, el proyecto es muy interesante, especialmente por, por tratarse de las compañías de producción eh, como participan media y Small House Production y Warner Brothers, que es, 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 no hay que decir nada, es lo más grande que hay en el mundo. Para mí, yo no podía dormir pensando, Dios mío, voy a, a trabajar con Warner Brothers, Dios mío. Y... y Bueno, ese es un sueño hecho realidad. Uh, le agradezco a toda la, la, la compañía, Warner Brothers, Small House, todo el mundo que, que nos apoyó para el proyecto. Y en realidad yo eh, soy nacido en Colombia. Nací en un pueblito, Agua de Dios, uh, Colombia. Y luego vine con el sueño de venir a América a trabajar en Hollywood y trabajar con actores que ya los estoy trabajando. Y es un sueño. My last question in English. Sandra Bullock, uh, how was your relationship with her? I know you work really close. Well, it, me, Sandra, she's a very generous, she's a very nice lady. Uh, it was beautiful. I, uh, I mean, I, have, I can't express the words that I have and the emotion just to, to be near a person like that. She's very generous. She's, she was treating us very nice. I mean, it was beautiful.